Hello, this is Liz with DC Digital, and today I'm demonstrating a new product called the DC 256 T-Up C-Term. In this video, I'm going to go over how to use this product first and then follow up with hardware and features. So this is going to be used as a drive through timer and counter combination display. It will show how many people have gone through the drive through since the display was last powered on or completely reset. It is also going to show how long the current person at the window has been waiting. And the timer is going to be on the left in red, and it will show minute, minute, second, second. The counter is going to be on the right in green, and it will count 0 through 99 customers before wrapping back around to 0. And we decided to make the timer red and the counter green to allow the employees to easily differentiate between the counter and timer displays while keeping the entire device within one of our standard size cases. So this entire product is the same size as any of our standard 256 units. So the first function on this is going to be start. And the start will increment the counter by one and start the timer counting up. And then the next function is going to be the stop. And it'll just stop and zero out the timer. It won't mess with the counter. And another feature is that if the timer has less than 10 seconds, it will not zero out the timer. And that is due to the fact that the customer that we are making this for is going to be using two different hoses on the start and stop functions outside in the drive through And when the first person ro rolls up to the window, they will go over the first hose to start. And when they leave, they will go over the stop hose. But if there's somebody behind them who starts to pull up to the window a little too early, the second person could start the timer again while the first person is still pulling away. So that 10 seconds is to allow the first person to uh, pull completely clear of the hose just in case the person behind them starts the timer too soon. Because if um, otherwise, the employees would see that the counter had increased, but the timer would stop and show zeros, so they wouldn't be able to tell how long that person had been there. Then I'm going to start it again, and then the last function is going to be a zero reset, and that will stop and zero out the timer, and it will also zero out the counter. So if you want to keep track of how many customers have gone through the drive through in an hour, you can start it. Um, you can reset it out to zero and then start it again from there. Then at the next hour, you can say we had one person come through the drive through but you wouldn't be able to tell how long that person had been there for you would just be able to see one person went through the drive through in the last hour. All right, so that is it for the functions. So to control the um, start, stop, and zero reset, the zero reset and stop have local buttons on top of the case and there is an opto board in the back behind this plate, and that has the um, start and stop functions. And I also wired up the zero reset function to that, even though the customer will not be using um, that terminal. I just wanted to give them the extra option. And the digit size on this is going to be 2.3 inch. And like I stated before, the timer is going to be in red and the counter is going to be in green. And both of those are segmented LEDs. 
The case is made out of powder coated aluminum extrusion and to mount it there are two teardrop shaped mounting tabs in the back of the case. And for power, it gets a 120 volt AC power adapter that provides the display with 12 volts DC at 0 0.7 amps. And for the connections, like I showed you before, it's gonna be made through the opto board in the back panel. And those connections are gonna be dry contact or positive five to 30 volts PNP input only. Terminal one is gonna be the start, terminal two is gonna be the stop, and terminal three is gonna be the reset. So all of our products are manufactured and assembled at our location in Carlisle, Ohio. See if you like this product and want to order it, or if you have any questions about how we can customize any of our products for your specific needs, please contact us using the link in the description. Again, this has been Liz with DC Digital demonstrating a new product called the DC 256 T-Up C-Term. Thank you.